Okay, hello everybody, this is Budrich and let's continue our BWP Bud Labs Wallpaper Manager script. And just as I mentioned in the end of the last video, we, the, we will focus now on, on this wallpaper argument to, to try to, to get a, an absolute um, value out of that. Uh, get back to that soon. Uh, first, I would like to to address some some feedback I got on on, on the, the latest videos here. Uh, <laughs> Barrio here uh, got a bit uh, scared because I, I sneezed uh, in 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 this video. Sorry for that. Uh, and then uh, overall, really great comments as usual. Really appreciate it. And Emanuele here also comes with with some great uh, uh, pointers on on this BWP script. I have uh, briefly mentioned that I would like uh, this version of BWP uh, to to be we, we should be able to use both JPEGs and PINGs and not convert everything to PINGs as I used to do. Um, but this will, uh, if we don't uh, make some adjustment to, to the script, we will get some, some strange uh, issues if we try to add, for example, a, a, a file with the same name but with different extensions. Uh, and, and this is exactly what Emanuele here um, say, uh, but he also presents this great alternative solution to this. Because if we, rem if we don't have a file extension on our files and just store them without an extension, everything will be so much easier. And that's what we're going to do. Uh, but right now we have our library here with file extensions. Let's do this. And you know, we add the files with, with our add to library function here. Mm. All we have to do is remove uh, the file extension from this trg variable, which will be the output file, you know. Um, and that should remove the, the file extension from here. Of course, we have to regenerate the, the library here. But I took, uh, uh, let's use this. I, 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 I trim this, this uh, test uh, directory a bit so we don't, don't have to generate all the wallpapers. It will be quick. But first, let, let's take care of this uh, variable thing. Uh, I think it's a good idea to declare the, the variables like this also. Uh, declare the local variables on one single line and just declare them um, and define them later in the script. So then you can remove the local keyword here also. Uh, so to remove the, the file extension, we just set trg to be trg but with the last thing from the last dot to the end of the string removed. That's what this means. So this should remove the file extension and this could also be written like this if we want to put it on the same line. I, I, I kind of like to do that in these cases, you know, when it's the same variable you, you have to do multiple modifications to it. This is also a reason to write it like this, because if, if we would have local here, uh, then it wouldn't work. Then we have to, to have this on a separate line. You cannot do this when you have the local keyword at the beginning of a line. Uh, all right, but that should be enough. If we just, uh, we can remove this directory here, our old archive, and then let's uh, generate it again. Just to find yeah, you, you know, this there, create the directory for us. We'll take some time to, to generate the, the files, but not that long since it's only these. And now we can see no file names, but we can still see this is a JPEG, according to Thuner at least, and this is a ping. Okay, great. <coughs> um, now let's, let's uh, get to the main topic of this video I will copy this whole thing here whatever and then add it here just we have a reference and maybe do this um, right now the only thing we, we can do with the script is add files to the library we test if the a option is set uh, and then we add to the library 
uh, and A is, as, as we can see here in the option synopsis, uh, A is the is a bit different from the other options. The other ones have the exact same syntax. So it, I think it makes more sense to do this instead here. Do an if else. Um, and this will be like the whole uh, uh, script here. So if if it is the A option, if that is set, then add to library, then, then it will never do anything else if the A option is set. Otherwise we will do other things. And before we do anything, we have to have to uh, get a value, uh, a wallpaper value. Let's set a global variable here, or declare a, a, a global variable. We we can set it to a blank string, um, and then let's write uh, some scenarios here. Uh, one is we could execute BWP uh, with just uh, the action option so to speak which which can be w but it could also be b l and s uh, we, uh, and it's completely fine to execute it without any arguments at all uh, we could also execute it with a random uh, flag meaning we want a random uh, wallpaper or we could execute it with a full path to a file something like this or we could ex execute it with just the name of, of a file in the library, something like this. Or it could be like an invalid uh, uh, command or argument like something stupid. <clears throat> okay, uh, and I think these are pretty straightforward. Uh, if it's an existing image file, then yeah, that is uh, the wall, kind of. A name, it is, yeah. And uh, something stupid, it's an error. But if we uh, execute it without any arguments at all, then I would like, uh, this is my, my uh, normal library here. Uh, that contains two uh, symbolic links here that are linked to directories in the walls or locks directory here. current wall and current lock they are both symbolic links and that is what I want to use if, if uh, no arguments are, are uh, added here so, so this should be current wall uh, random is of course a random image from the walls directory uh, and also, if we pass, uh, don't pass any arguments, uh, and current wall doesn't exist, then we take a random image. So let's write some logic here. If uh, and to test if we have any arguments at all, you could write it in different ways. Uh, but one is this said dollar one. Uh, meaning that dollar one is unset and if dollar one is unset then dollar two doesn't exist either so so this this is a a, a quick way to test that <coughs> if that is true then we can do wall is equal to uh, current wall let's just add some some simple strings here now as the value to wall uh, and then we can test that that this is working uh, ill if uh, random option and that is an option so we can just uh, use our array here our option array to see if r is set to 1 then the r option is present in the, on the command line and then wall is equal to random ill if let's add this here for reference Okay, uh, next, if the file exists, dollar star, then uh, wall equal file, that's fine. Uh, if 
and now if it's the name of a file in the library and the library as you remember is uh, this directory the walls directory which we stored here in in this uh, global variable wd so we can just see if um, f wd slash dollar star is a file then wall is name else something is wrong you know and then we can just print uh, an error message and exit the script uh, um, not a valid argument dollar star or something five okay uh, now we should be able to, to just uh, echo wall here and test this and see if this works at all not sure why it r equal command design output i don't know maybe it file here it I think it's a command maybe i'm not sure okay okay bwp dash w current wall because now we didn't have any arguments. BWP dash W dash R, not a valid option. That wasn't really what we wanted here. Uh, but it is, yes, because we haven't added R here to our uh, list of, of options. Now that should work. BWP R, current wall. Um, R, it should say random. But this is completely logical uh, because uh, we first test if uh, if we don't have any arguments, which we don't have here. Uh, so so this this will be true, and it will set this to current wall, and then it will not uh, then it will will not do any more tests here. If the first that is true, it will just yeah. But this also means that random gets weird here uh, when when we don't have any arguments. So. Let's move that here to the top instead, do that test first and then and then test for, for no arguments. Now we get random and now we get current wall. And it also works when we write the string like that. And it works if we write the string like that. Good. Okay, let's test the file. Just take some file here bwp dash w file and it says file um, if it's a non-existent file just type some stupid stuff there error not a valid argument blah 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 okay and now just name uh, we can test with cheese balls should be a name of um, b cheese balls and then it says name, so it's, it, it looks like it's working now. Um, but of course we, we don't want to set uh, the variable to, to these words, we, don't, we want to actually set it to, yeah, to a random, the name of a random uh, wall or, or, yeah, you get it. And here I haven't really 100% uh, decided exactly how, how we will uh, proceed here, uh, what this wall will really be. But we, we can just change it if we change our mind later or want to improve stuff. And what, what we do now, we can start here with the random. So a random uh, image from the walls directory here. To get the random image, uh, Quick, quick and dirty way is to just uh, do a list uh, BWP uh, walls and there now it just lists out you know the content of this directory but we can pipe that result to sort and sort it with a capital R which will randomize uh, that list so now we get a, a pseudo random list here 
Uh, and if we only want one result from that list, we could use um, head one. We we'll print the first line. And you can see we get different results here. Random different results. And now there are so few images here, so it almost looks like the same all the time. Uh, some people might argue that head head is bloat and you should write it like this instead because this is this is suckless but as you can see it's a longer execution time on, with this but of course uh, so you have to choose if you want an efficient program or if you want a bloated program I think I choose uh, efficient here and use this bloated head uh, command instead since it's much faster we can copy this pipe here uh, and then we can set wall to be the output of that instead if we add the random option and also we don't need to hard code uh, the path here since we already got it in our uh, wd variable here and then we can remove that uh, and try it with the w dash r now we should get the a random name here great um, okay current wall that uh, doesn't exist at the moment uh, and this can be the case uh, for example the first time you you, you you try this and you don't have a current wall uh, if that is true then we should then we take a random uh, wall from from the uh, walls directory meaning we, we will do the same thing uh, and this uh, means that it's a good idea to store this uh, pipe in in its own function get random wall let me create that here get random wall like this uh, and we will probably uh, fine-tune this random wall thing uh, later to make sure that we don't get the same image that is already set as the wallpaper yeah meaning not the same as the current wall and whatever it gets a bit weird for me to record this you know because I have already uh, made a version of this and I, 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 I kind of know the future you know but at the same time we are writing this uh, from scratch here and there will be some changes but whatever okay um, get random wall if um, if we don't have any arguments at all but only if uh, the file current wall doesn't exist in in the root of the library uh, so f bwp did slash current wall then if this else do this phi and now we don't have this current wall uh, file the, uh, a link to a wallpaper so so now it will always uh, uh, take a random wall here so we should get uh, the same thing here now a random name but uh, let's add a, a, a current wall link by our uh, by ourself uh, this will of course uh, be done automatically uh, later so ln dash f to create a sim s to create a symbolic link source file target file current wall bam and there now we have a file called current wall uh, now um, I think we will get an empty string here yes because now we don't set wall to anything here <coughs> now is the question what what do we want to set uh, the, the variable wall to when current wall exists here because current wall the, uh, we, we cannot or we could just set it to current wall but I kind of want a name 
of, of uh, one of the images in this directory, at least uh, uh, as the script looks like now. So to get get the uh, file that this uh, symbolic link is pointing to, you can use the, the command read link. And there we can see that it points to Walls Astronomen Glasgube. And we want the last part or the file name of this, of course. So there are different ways to write this. One is, yeah, why not look at that while we are here? I have a really hard time writing parentheses. I don't know what's wrong with me. Uh, read link current wall. So this will be the full path here as it is here. But there is this command also, base file, that will uh, extract the, only the file name from a path. Or isn't it? Base, base name. Yeah, maybe it works for other things uh, than files, maybe URLs and stuff works here too. Whatever. As you can see, it returns the, the correct uh, file name. So we could use this command, but it is so, it, it it's not a pretty command. We could just as well do this. Because it's, it is more or less the same thing remove everything up until the last slash. I don't know what you think. Either this or we write it like uh, this. Base name. Wall. Yeah, maybe that is cleaner, more. I don't know. Let's keep let, let, let's let's do this. It doesn't really matter, and I think we will change this later, anyways. Okay, uh, let's test it. Uh, BWP with a W, and it returns yeah the the name of the file that this link points to. If the argument is uh, 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 the full path to uh, to a file. Let's take one from, from this, so we can take one that isn't present in our library here now. We only have these uh, five, five images here, so, so let's see if we can take some good one here. Let's take this Black Sabbath guy, you know. Or, not that, I want one with a good file name also. Here, Beach Sci-Fi. Uh, if if the argument is a is an existing file file then we we actually try to add it to the library with the same uh, uh, call as we did here when when we use the a option if if the file happens to already exist in the library then we will get that warning but we need to yeah fix on fix some things here uh, Let's first, first add this, so if it's a file, and also we want to set wall here to the name of the file uh, uh, in the library. So, so let's change the function add to library, so it will return or echo the name. Can remove that. That's one thing we need to do. Another thing is to uh, change this error here because this ERX that will exit the script uh, if, if, if there is an error here, if the file already exists. And now we don't want to exit the script uh, at this place, then, then, we are, then we are okay. It can print the warning, uh, but we still want it to return the name of the file in the library. So we do two things here. We create one new variable called name. Uh, which is uh, name is equal to t 
trg and then yeah, remove the directory. And then we echo that after we have done everything else here. And then we change this test here. I think it's we can make this an, an if else thing instead. And changing this ERX, we can change it to ERR, so it will print a warning if the file already exists. Else. If it doesn't exist or the force flag is set, then it will convert the file. Uh, and after it have done so, no matter if it exists or not, it will echo the name here. Now, if we try this, um, so this beach uh, sci-fi, it doesn't exist in our library, but it should add it now. It did, and it also printed the name here now to standard out because that's the content of wall. So that is nice. If we try this again, it will we get the warning uh, and it, it prints the name and the name is printed from, from, from this place here. Okay, now it's only uh, uh, the last one left here and that is extremely easy because if the argument is a name of, of uh, one of the wallpapers, then we just set the variable wall to the arguments because then we got the name, you know. So dollar star. I don't know what happened there, but okay. So now uh, we got what we need here, I think. Um, Yeah, let's test it with BWP W and then we can say nuclear control and it says nuclear control because that's a file that exists here a file that doesn't exist we get an error try to add a file it already exists yeah it, everything's working fine here now um, and this is really good now, when we know this wall, then it will be extremely easy to just uh, set the wallpaper, the lock or, or the screensaver with, when we know what image we, we are working with. And you can see how convenient the, the command line uh, operations are. And it's not that weird, difficult logic here. I will remove the comments now, I think, maybe re-add them again, some whatever. Something stupid. Okay, so now that we got the wall, I I, I will end the video now in a minute. I, I just thought I could show you. Uh, this is the time when we when we test here now if uh, what what kind of action to do. You know, if O is W, uh, then set wallpaper. You know. And then maybe we pass wall here and so on uh, uh, and we do one for l or s and and and, and uh, all of those one last thing now that i think about it if we try to uh, add all uh, the library here o ok wp these files if we add that now with the a option those files will already exist here now uh, so we should get that warning and as you can see it's much faster now but um, it also prints here uh, the, the name of the files this is kind of annoying output in my opinion and this is because it echoes the name because we, we, we need it to echo something so we can store that in our wall uh, uh, variable here but when we do this when we pass the A option then we, we, we don't care about uh, storing the output in a variable or anything. So what we could do here is use uh, redirection to redirect uh, standard out to dev null. So we don't have to see that output. And here's uh, a cool thing with this uh, printing to standard error is that we will not uh, redirect uh, uh, the second file descriptor. 
standard error, uh, standard error. Uh, so, so we will still see any warnings, but we will not see the file names here, and it will still work fine with with um, yeah our, our our variables here. Whatever, just a small thing. Okay, so next video uh, we, we start working with actually setting the wallpaper and uh, I have gotten some inspiration while working on this and, and thought about some new things I would like to add here to it. So, so I think we, we, yeah, at least the next video will probably only be about setting the wallpaper. Setting the wallpaper itself, it's just, it, it's extremely easy. You can use many programs to do so, but I thought let's uh, try to make like a little, um, uh, history file so we can browse uh, backwards in, in the wallpaper history and, and, and things like that we also need to we will also set this uh, uh, current wall every time we set the wallpaper and, and, and so on but we take all that in the next video thank you so much for watching thank you for commenting and uh, liking and subscribing and uh, see you in the next video Bye.